from the amazing skylines of real estate to the inside of architectural masterpieces, the breathtaking interior designs, and landscaping through well-planned and innovative properties. Adding insight into all your construction needs, we bring you ideas from the local housing industry and the world of commercial estate. We simply make sense of real estate industry. It is The Property Show. Proudly sponsored by Roofings. Welcome to yet another exciting edition of The Property Show where we make sense of the real estate industry. Quite a lot is happening and it's fascinating and we've got it all covered for you. If it's real estate, if it's property, we've got you sorted on The Property Show. Of course, special thanks to our official sponsors, Roofings. And now hot on the market is the Roofings pre-printed galvanized iron sheets that give you not just opportunity to have good color, to your roofing material, but also it gives you durability, it gives you quality, it gives you excellence. And we'll be telling you more on how you can actually acquire these products. And of course, special thanks to Nina Interiors. If you're looking for fine, legit, authentic furniture, whether it's fabric or leather, it's gonna be Nina Interiors. How do you do it? Just visit uh, Nina Interiors showroom opposite Spear House and you will be sorted in that direction. Of course, special thanks to Serena Hotel, the only home away from home five-star experience, our host uh, partners, and uh, definitely Estate Online, our content partners. Thank you so much. Right now, let's take a look at what we have lined up for you in today's edition of The Property Show. Today on The Property Show. bit of interior that is beautiful is how you make your home your own how you handcraft it to become your own entity that's the beauty with interior and that is why every week we give you the interior designing tips of the week with Bethel but before we actually give you those in tips every single week we give you the dream home where you inspire many that watch the show every single week how do you inspire them by sending in your dream home that is its interior and exterior with your profile picture to a Facebook page Property Show Uganda. Up next is the Dream Home of the Week, followed by Interior Designing Tips of the Week. This week on the interior designing tips, we are going to look at pattern and texture. Now, did you know that pattern is responsible for stimulating a certain part of the brain? I mean, pattern. In, that means that pattern helps you think better and helps your children's brains develop better. Now, we have three types of pattern, basically. We have the florid, the naturalist patterns, and the geometric patterns. Now, right here, you see this pattern. It is an example. It is a perfect example of the geometric patterns. These are very much, they have so much to deal with symmetry that you cannot, you can basically see how they made them, but then you can't get deep into the pattern counting how many times an object has been repeated. And then for the naturalist pattern, you have basically a way of nature. It's repeated, but you cannot put a finger on it. You find that something is similar in the patterns. Yes, there's a repetition, but then you cannot really tell what has been repeated, where and how. Then we come to the florid. 
Now the florid is the most common, it's one of the most common patterns of curtains. Like right here, you have a florid pattern. Flowers are all over and you can see how, where they're repeated, but it's basically dealing with the flowers. Now these wallpapers right here are a perfect example for the geometric because you see the symmetrical divisions, the symmetrical repetitions. Just remember that when you're trying to apply color to your house, there are two major points you should notice. We have the scale and the balance. Always make sure that the patterns are in relation to scale. I mean, if you have a small room, why would you really go for very awfully big patterns? Maybe for your chairs, maybe for your wallpaper or anything. If you have a small room, it's most preferable that you should use the small patterns. It makes you feel a lot more comfortable and makes the room look big. Just as I said, it is an illusion. And last time we were looking at space, Yes, pattern has a lot to do with space. You see that the patterns on a floor of a room either make it look longer in, in a corridor way or wider. Now, diagonal patterns as are placed in a room, they make a house look wider. While patterns that are placed in a vertical way make a room look longer, like a thin corridor. And if you're going to use such curtains or maybe such patterns for your wallpaper, you'll find that your house looks wider. It looks wider than it is long and when you apply the long, I mean the long curtains or longer patterns on your house, it draws the eye all the way from up to down and suddenly you have an illusion and the space feels bigger, the walls look longer. Now don't be afraid to use pattern, it is not an essential for life, not an essential for comfort, but yet it is a sign of luxury. So don't be afraid, go for any patterns, but remember to apply scale and balance while applying them to your house. Thank you, that was the interior design tip for the day. Goodbye. Oh no, um, it's my dad. Cover me. Yes. Gundinawe, is that any way to cover? When you have to cover something, cover it the right way. Only Roofing's Iron Sheets have double coating that give them a much longer life and are made with Japanese technology for best quality right here in Uganda. With Roofing's Iron Sheets, we've got you covered. Roofing's Strength of a Nation. Still to come. What does Avats do and how does it help the person that is watching? We do only two things. One is property management. Every palace, when you actually visit a couple of properties on a daily basis, when you look at different properties every time, you get to find that they are impeccable properties and those that are very lovely. But our property of the week this time is one that is impeccable. You will look at it and you'll be amazed by what it has to offer. And the beauty of the property of the week is that it's brought to you by the Nina Interiors. Why Nina Interiors? They're the leading furniture shop in town for interior deco and even outside door furniture. They have you covered. Nina Interiors, down at Ginger Road opposite Spear House. But up next is the property of the week brought to you by the Nina Interiors. At Nina Interiors, it's not just furniture. It's an experience that we give you. Enjoy the thrill for choice at Nina Interiors with a wide range of signature furniture and our new range of fabric sofas that will give any living room a breath of fresh air. It only gets better as we give you the reason to transform your home with our special offers on curtains, nets and accessories all delivered and installed to your test at good prices. It's got to be Nina Interiors. Every week, Property Show looks out for properties that have something peculiar to them. And this week, we visit the apartments at Kingsgate that were designed and fitted by True Level. These beautiful apartments have been carefully decorated in greatest detail and offer guests the chance to have a relaxing and worry-free stay.
There is a thing about marble countertops in a kitchen. It just makes your kitchen look a little bit exquisite. Even if you're actually preparing a meal, it gives you comfort while you're cooking. And the marble that was used actually blends with the colors of the house. Like for example, the focal wall in the living room actually has a bit of gray and the marble also does have a little bit of gray, which makes it actually look a little bit more beautiful. The color patterns all blend and match. In that every room I walked into was captivated with a new color and it just actually keeps your mind a little bit engaged. For example, the bathroom, I just love the patterns in the bathrooms. You can imagine, we all know our colors, at least that's what we think. When I got here, I actually thought this was charcoal gray until I was told it is forest black. What was behind your mind when you were actually putting the coloring and painting of the apartment together? If you look at this wall, this is forest black. In the same room, we have a another different wall, which is in standstone. We want to be a unique. With its high quality fittings and all mod cons available, the apartments include three, two, and one bedrooms and are all furnished to suit every resident's need. East or West, they say home is best property this week gives you an even greater experience. The elegant rooms are perfectly fitted with the finest Italian deco with wooden beams which provide direct access onto the balcony as well as an American style kitchen. The apartments have a modern open plan interior design which comes with spacious bedrooms with well designed bathrooms. The apartments offer a wide range of amenities for its residents, including some of the best accommodation facilities in town at an affordable price. The Bird's Eye is brought to you by Roofing. was brought to you by Roofings, Strength of a Nation. It's the Property Talk on the Property Show, and the gentleman I'm about to introduce to you is Mr. Vincent Agaba. First, of course, is CEO Area Uganda, if we are well acquainted with the Association of Real Estate Agents in Uganda, and Avats, how do you manage to wear all these hats? Uh, it's out of the love for the industry. <coughs> First and foremost, the uh, Avats Housing Limited is where I practice uh, uh, in the, the real estate. Yes. L let's start from area and then push quickly to Avats. Area Uganda, to what extent would you say the association has been able to reshape, remodel the industry and take it to a better level? Now, if you look at the Association of Real Estate Agents of Uganda, it's a private sector-led association. And we are talking about the private players coming together. There is the public sector led by the Ministry of Land, Housing and Urban Development, but on the private sector arm, we bring the technical approach to the industry so that the policymakers and the government is able to have informed decisions so that the industry is well streamlined. And since then, we have actually advocated for the real estate agents bill. How do we regulate the real estate agents in this country and brokers? At the moment, everyone is actually called Kayunjirizi. They are brokers. You go to Kira, you come to Kajansi, everyone is putting their Agulirao, uh, you want a house for rent, rent and so forth. Now, who are these guys and how is the public protected against them? So we need an association, we need a regulatory framework yeah. that actually is able to so, see that so and so is qualified to offer the service to the country and so and so is not offered. 
the benchmarking industries are the insurance industry. You have an insurance agent, you have a broker, you have a mainstream insurance company. All these guys are regulated by Uganda National the Insurance Regulatory Authority. But the real estate sector is left to whom it's my concern. Yes. And that way we thought that actually we are putting the e economy at risk because the multiplier effects of the real estate industry, including land, go to financial sector, they come to the insurance sector if you talk about collateral. Collateral is the basic you know, instrument which we use in borrowing. Yes. So if you don't tackle that problem, you will have what we call prices that are inflated, speculative prices of properties, which valuers will use to make valuation reports, which banks again will use as a basis of lending. So we have gone back internally to now formulate the housing policy that actually will have the real estate section within it. Okay. That is one element. The other one is trainings. Mm. Partnering with the property show in terms of the property shows, okay. conferences and expos. Yes. This is effort altogether brought by the area in Uganda. Now we move to Avert. <coughs> what does Avert do and how does it help the person that is watching? Avert Housing Limited is a real estate management company. We do only actually two things. One is property management. You are living abroad, you have a property here, you leave it with a relative, you don't see your rent. All these people are busy and they cannot do whatever actually you're supposed to do. You leave the property with Avert Housing Limited, we caretake for it, we transfer your money, we actually supervise all the repair and maintenance and do accountability for you. We go an extra mile, if you have mortgages, we do remit your monthly mortgage expense, that's property management. When you come to feasibility studies, we have a problem in this country whereby developers maybe travel a lot, go to Dubai, go everywhere, they see a property and they have the money they want to build the same. But is that property which you're building informed by the demand? So you need a feasibility study to test the location, yes. to test the demand, <coughs> to, to test the gaps in the market so that whatever you're building is unique and actually is able to fill the gaps in the market. Otherwise, you will have a lot of vacancy rates. You will have a lot of properties that are actually on the shelf and are not having the demand for them. So profitability studies are meant to ensure that before you are investing <coughs> or even borrowing to build a structure, you have a feasibility study that actually calculates the return on investment and tests the demand for that property. From your perspective by experience before we go, what are the hugest challenges currently facing the industry and what do you think can be done to address them? I'll tell you, Mr. Edwin, I think you have been in the industry and you're more experienced at the moment as we do, but one of the problems is unprofessionalism. The commissions, for example, how much commissions do are we supposed to be charging? Someone will tell you I charge 10%, another one will tell you I charge 10% plus the top. There is no streamlined commission for agents. And therefore, that needs to be tackled. The other one is, of course, regulation. Everyone from A to Z is an agent. And that affects the level of service delivery. The other one, of course, is the financing. The interest rates are so high that actually, in order to create the supply side of the market, you need the lower interest rates that actually can be able to propel production on the market. But who do you think needs to tackle? You've highlighted at least three issues. Who do you think needs to tackle and deal with these issues? Now, there are agencies responsible for this. Of course, the Ministry of Land, Housing yes. and Urban Development comes in at policy level. There's the central bank, which actually should be able to come in at the interest rates and the mortgage industry line. Then, of course, you are going to run through the Uganda Bureau of Statistics, for example. What are the property price indexes? Are we able to guide the industry to say, for example, location X, an average two-bedroom house should be costing about this to guide the public yes. so that they're empowered to negotiate with the sellers. Everything, if you look at it, it has interest in property. Yeah. Vincent, any final thoughts to the viewers? Fin final thoughts is that real estate industry at the moment actually is the way to go. Because I will tell everyone there is that either you are practicing the real estate industry by default, because all of us, we need a home and shelter. Sure. Thank you very much, Vincent. We'll be in touch. You're welcome. Basket Building, as it is known, is located in Newark, Ohio, USA. The building is a 160 times replica of one of the company's signature products, the Media Market Basket. A seven-story stucco over steel structure, the Basket Building has become an icon and attracted media attention from around the world. Constructed in the 1990s, the building opened for business in December 1997. As if the building's unique and unlikely exterior was not enough, the interior is magnificent and centered on an atrium that rises the full seven stories of the building. The atrium features a grand staircase, a player piano, spontaneous cherry woodwork, 
and is topped with glass through which can be seen the huge handles that complete the basket like appearance of the building. The signature handles weigh in at an impressive 150 tons, are attached with replica copper and wooden rivets and are heated to prevent the formation of ice. The gold leaf painted logo tags are 725,000 LBs each and measure 25 long times 7 tall times 3 thick. It is said that the Dave Langerberg wanted to have all of the company buildings shaped like baskets, but after his 1998 death, his daughter vetoed any more basket building. So, if you are ever planning to travel State Route 16 in Newark, make sure to stop by and check out the basket building. And now we give you what many will sit and wait for, what many that actually are looking for on a daily basis. It is the prophetic scan. You are maybe trying to move, but you do not know which location you want. You do not know which exact property you want. We are giving it to you. Maybe you want to buy something new, but you want it to come in the comfort of your living room. You don't want to go through the hassle and bustle of the sunshine. It's the property scan. Thanks to our content partners, Estate Online, we give you the property scan. Just enjoying some beautiful setup here at Speak Resort Munyonyo, our host uh, this weekend, this month. Just remember one thing, your comments, your views and opinions, they do matter. Like some of the trending uh, 
comments to us have been, Edwin, we want to take a look at some properties outside Kampala. And I'll tell you what, your heart's cry has been heard because very soon we are feeding you with as much information and properties as possible from outside Kampala. Special thanks to Roofings, the strength of this nation, and of course Nina Interiors, the brand that ensures we're well furnished in our offices and in our homes. Our content partners are set online and home away from home five-star experience Serena, Cassia Lodge, Regis, thank you so much. And to the entire crew and team at the property show, we say have a lovely blessed week. Adios, amigos. Stay blessed and keep it property show. Next week on The Property Show. Another summer day has come and gone away in Paris and Rome, but I want to go home.